Welcome back to NOS Performance Keys to the Race. My name is Bass Masters, sitting with Kyle Bush, talking about another one of your good tracks, the track you've always seemed to have a feel for, Richmond International Richmond. Raceway. Yeah, I love Richmond. It's a great spot. It's a great track. Yeah. Uh, three quarters of a mile, lots of room to pass out there. What are you looking to get out of your race car when you get to Richmond? Uh, I mean, the biggest thing for Richmond is just making sure you have a good brake package. You got to have a car that slows down well, but then um, you have to turn the center of the corner, and then you've got to exit. And the tires that Goodyear's brought to the racetrack uh, most recently, you know, plus another short track uh, kind of theme, you've got to be able to get off the corners. Mm -hmm. You know, that seems to be the tricky thing. Well, is it hard to get your car free enough to turn in the center without? having it be too loose on the gas? That is exactly what everybody fights every time there. You know, you can roll through the center as good as anybody and be faster than anybody, but when you can't push the throttle pedal because you're too loose up off the corner, mm -hmm. you're certainly going to struggle all the way down the straightaway. Talk about turn two here. Yeah, yeah, turn two, because you, you run in the corner through turn one, down the front straightaway through turn one, it's kind of an arc, so it's like a smooth transition getting down in the corner. And then when you get to the center of the corner, you've really got to be able to bend there and get the car pointed because turn two is so tight. And the reason it feels so tight is because the wall kind of comes up on you a little bit quick, but also, like you said, the banking falls off and you kind of flatten out and the car just wants to automatically drift out mm -hmm. there through momentum and inertia that uh, you've just got to make sure that you've got enough forward bite, but yet, um, you know, you got to miss the wall too. Talk about give and take on a short track. Has short track racing changed at all as far as give and take and having to move guys? Uh, a little bit, yeah. With the COT car, it, it changed. You know, I remember going to Richmond the first couple times we ran this car and uh, we were running a lane off the wall. You know, there was just no grip. We were all sliding around everywhere. And so we would run in the corner, just let the cars drift all the way up. And uh, the cars have gotten a lot better. Uh, the teams have really been doing a good job. Goodyear's brought in a better tire of the racetrack. So we're back down more towards the bottom of the track, running the first two lanes. And, um, you know, there's still some good racing action there. You know, for me, I've been able to be successful at passing guys on restarts and making it three wide on them. You know, whether I go through the middle, the bottom, or the top, you know, you just try to um, put them in a precarious situation because turn two, it's tight. It's tight enough for one, let alone right. three guys. So somebody's going to have to get out of it. And most notably, everybody thinks I'm not going to do that. Yeah, so. well, that is interesting, <laughs> the kind of mental game of the guy who has to be the one that lifts. Yeah. So yeah. you want to be the guy that doesn't lift, right? right? Well, I've had that notion where I'm going to put it where they ain't. And, uh, you know, the biggest thing is just being able to get guys to kind of throttle up and give me the spot. Right. I understand. You're a race car driver, right? That's right. Yeah. Got to get the checkers if you can. All right, yeah. that's Kyle Busch. He should be good at Richmond. Rowdy.com. Say it like it is. Say what like it is. Rowdy.com.